Okay, so today we're going to look at the Resazorin test for milk quality to determine how much bacteria is present in milk. So what you need to carry out this investigation is three sterile test tubes. Um, just make sure they're clean as you don't want any bacteria contaminating your results. That could be a possible systematic error. You're going to need your Resazorin. You need um, a sample of milk and then just some extras that I'm using would be a dropper and a graduate cylinder. So the first thing I need to do is I need to label my three test tubes A, B and C and then I'm going to add 10 ml of the same sample of milk to each test tube. Okay, so next thing I need to do is I need to add one mil of resazorin to my test tube A to determine how much bacteria is present in the sample at this um, current time. Okay, so I'm going to put put this in. I'm going to swirl it around, and now I'm going to place it. Now I'm going to place it into the water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Okay, so after 15 minutes in the water bath at 37 degrees, you can see that the resazorin in the milk um, is still blue in color, which indicates that this is good quality milk. So we're going to test the milk quality for B then in 48 hours, just because we're over the weekend. And then the Tuesday we'll test the quality of the sample C. So we're gonna leave them over time and just see if the quality changes. So blue means best quality. Um, if it goes pink, it will be poor, and then if it goes white, um, that would be the worst. Right, so today, Monday, um, we are going to test the quality of sample B. So again, I'm using my Resazorin. I'm going to add in one mil of this to my sample B. Um, this was just left out to the side there. Um, over the weekend so I'm going to give it a swirl and now I'm going to put it into my water bath again for 15 minutes at 37 degrees celsius. Okay so this time you can see that the milk with the resazorin has turned a pink colour so now we can see that the milk has become um, a much more poor quality over time uh, within the last 48 hours. So tomorrow then we'll do our last one which will be C and that'll be after 72 hours. Okay, so today we're gonna do the last one. So it's been now 72 hours. Again, I'm going to add in my one mil of resazorin. So hopefully within that time, the bacteria has started to um, multiply a lot. Um, I'm just going to swirl it around and I'm going to put this then into my water bath um, at 37 degrees celsius for another 15 minutes. So I'm just going to pop that in now. Right, so it actually has worked. Um, you can still see a bit of a pink layer up here, but the rest of it has actually become a uh, white, indicating that it's the worst quality. So that just means that it has the most bacteria present in this sample in comparison to our other two.